Since last week, there is confirmation that the God particle exists. It's the core of what makes us and all around us in the universe. Science will never be the same again. The process confirmed by the giant electronic donut of a tunnel under the Swiss-French border near Geneva is called Higgs boson. Professor Higgs was there himself decades after he identified the likely nature of the God particle. But what about the other scientists who put the Bose into boson? Sachendrath Bose came from Calcutta. He too laid the groundwork several decades ago for what's now being called the greatest scientific discovery of this generation. And there's some anger in India at the lack of recognition given to Bose, one of their own. India's government calls him a forgotten hero. He died in 1974. Well, let's go live now on the hub to Washington and to Satendra Nath Bose's grandson, Falguni Sakar. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, great to see you here on the hub. Let me ask you, because you have written a lot uh, about him, about the uh, man you remember and particularly the importance of science and what he envisioned and achieved. Uh, yes, uh, you know, and these are very exciting times uh, in the area of science and and uh, all the discoveries that are happening uh, based on the, the work that he did, um, you know, so many years ago. As you know, that uh, you know the work that he uh, did uh, as a fundamental basis of, of uh, quantum uh, science. Although the term God particle, you know, I don't know, I think he would have used it. I think he would have uh, felt that, um, you know, it would be insult to people who believe in God, who don't believe in God, or who we don't know. And it probably has more to do with, uh, the use of the term probably has more to do with, uh, you know, our continued need or search for meaning uh, in this hyper-technological age and whether, you know, the answer lies in science or, or religion or, or whatnot. And my sense is probably a little bit of both. But uh, in terms of the kind of implications of the, of the work and the work uh, building on uh, Professor Higgs, uh, these are very exciting times, yes. You have written fond accounts uh, of your grandfather, particularly his relationship and the importance of uh, the work he did with uh, Einstein. What was that? Well, uh, basically, you know, both, uh, you know, lived in, uh, in South Asia. He grew up in Calcutta. He was working in, in Dhaka, what is now Bangladesh at that time. And he was working on uh, Max Planck's uh, theory of uh, light quantum uh, hypothesis, whether, you know, light is a particle or light is a wave. And he found some inconsistencies uh, in the mathematics uh, of, of, of Planck's theory. Uh, and it was basically an ad hoc theory that led to, you know, Planck's constant, things that, you know, people learn in, in basic physics. Uh, so he wrote a paper um, uh, uh, developing a new type of statistical method uh, that could count particles, if you will. And then he sent that paper to Einstein. And Einstein was so impressed by it that he had immediately translated himself into German uh, and published it. And then he extended that work, which eventually became known as uh, Bose-Einstein statistics, uh, and that which is one of the fundamental rules of, of modern physics. Uh, and uh, there's been a lot of discoveries and a lot of work based around that. Most recently, you know, before the Higgs boson, around the Bose-Einstein condensation uh, er earlier this decade. Uh, so basically, it's a fundamental part of, of our understanding of the world. Let me finally uh, ask you about uh, what he's remembered for, but also how he is recognized for it. I was talking an hour ago here on the Hub to Dr. Vino Chohan, who works at CERN today. He's Indian, and he thought that very specifically he should be awarded or should have been awarded a Nobel Prize quickly if you can. Do you believe that should have happened? Well, uh, whether it ha should have happened or not is hard to say, although the rules of the committee now limit the possibility of of awarding it posthumously. Um, but, you know, I do appreciate the sentiment. You know, I've been doing a lot of research on the history of physics and, you know, writing about Bose. And, and you know, Abraham Pius, uh, one of the biographers of, of, uh, of Einstein, said there's four pillars of modern science. So uh, Einstein, Max Planck, Niels Bohr, and Sutton Bose. So that's the legacy. Uh, that's a monument to his legacy. Every student of physics understands uh, Bose and Boson. I think he would have cared more about uh, inspiring people, especially young people, people in the developing world, uh, to think big and do great things. And I think if people learn about him and his life, uh, and he has that impact, I think he would be happy with that legacy itself. Falguni Sakar, grandson of SN Bose, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on The Hub Live from Washington, D.C.